When it comes to switching things on and off, you've got options. Here I have a standard relay with a coil, and this is a solid state relay. For my estimation, they both cost about $10. Though, in my experience, I'm going to go with this one almost every single time. Why is that? Well, let's remember that inside of a relay we have a coil and we will draw it like an inductor because that's what it is. And also, um, remember that an inductor, whenever you run electricity through it, DC current, um, it's gonna it's basically an electromagnet, right? That's the whole premise of a relay. So it creates a magnetic field and whenever you Disconnect power from the relay the magnetic field actually collapses onto the coils and generates uh, some more current after the fact so uh, also we know that driving a electromagnet takes us some decent amount of current. So if you have your Arduino over here and you're trying to, I'm gonna draw an Arduino as a box because just to simplify here, we'll put this, their little uh, logo in there. So like, like that. Okay, <laughs> that's Arduino. And you have like digital pin 13, you know, connected to this thing and you put a power supply on here. Um, if you try to drive it from five volts, you will find that the 20 milliamps from the Arduino is nowhere near sufficient and it will not activate the uh, magnetic field strong enough to have uh, to, to switch the relay. So this guy is rated for 12 volts and you're gonna need maybe 50 milliamps to turn this thing on and off. So instead of that, what you actually have, uh, you're gonna have to now use a transistor, um, right? So I guess you have a resistor in here uh, to limit the current. So that will probably turn it on and off, but there's one thing we forgot. We have to now add a, a uh, diode here to protect the transistor now from those currents that are produced whenever the inductor switches off and the magnetic fields collapse. If you don't put a diode there, and there might be enough current that it will destroy the transistor. Yikes. Okay, so we actually have a lot going on here more than just, you know, simple turning a relay on and off. And even after the fact you've put a diode in here, you're still gonna have, um, you're still gonna have sufficient current draw that if you're running the relay off of the same power supply as the Arduino, even if the Arduino, you know, if you had a 12 volts up here, and even if the Arduino is running on regulated five volts, you know, there's a chance that it will reset the Arduino, it'll draw too much current, these sorts of things. You'll end up putting a large capacitor onto the circuit. Uh, and in my experience, um, you'll have a lot less hassle, though you can do it um, with a solid state relay. One of the reasons is the input current required to activate the relay is much smaller in comparison than is required to trigger the coil and the relay. So you, you're also not going to see any of this weird inductance and you don't need to put a diode in parallel with it. Um, and you can actually drive the solid state relay directly from an Arduino pin. So this same configuration, except with a solid state relay, um, I'm gonna draw the relay, kind of how it looks in the, in, physically in the real world. 
So this is uh, AC between here, and this is DC between here. <laughs> Just connected to ground, and you know, run the Blink program on Arduino or something. Just this is going to be a lot less hassle than the coil relay. Also, like I said, nowadays it's about the same price. This one is rated for 10 amps. This one is, so it says 25 amps. Also, these don't make the noise that a relay makes because there's no mechanical, um, me there's no mechanism inside here. That also means you can turn this relay on and off much and much faster than you can turn this relay on and off. Um, one, because there's a limit to how quickly this can move, but two, you'll wear out the mechanism by actuating it too rapidly. Whereas with this, you know, a thousand times per second, you could turn it on and off, um, perhaps, and it won't, it won't care. Um, so that is why, in a nutshell, I would choose this over this just about any day, whenever I am uh, driving it from a, a digital circuit. Um, and, I mean, like, they're basically the same cost, so, you know. I think we're gonna start seeing less and less of these being used and more and more of these. Anyway, well, let me know what you think in the comment section. You know, is there an instance where you really need to use a mechanical relay versus solid state, or uh, what other factors maybe I haven't considered? Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, or subscribe to my channel for similar content. Anyway, thanks. Bye.